Welcome to Everyday Moment. I'm excited to bring it with you a knife that I've actually had in my possession for, I don't know, 10 months. <laughs> it was actually bought, I think, as the last knife purchase of last year. And as usual, they sit here waiting for you, and we're excited to present it to you today. Hopefully, it's not too late to the party. This is going to be the Tetsujin 210mm Metal Flow. So, Tetsujin Homono, what is going on here? This collaboration, I'm going to put this down, let my wife kind of manipulate this for you so you can see the little details. This particular collaboration is going to be bought to, brought to you by um, Tora Tamorasan and Moijin Nahito. Now, Moijin's the sharpener, obviously, and Tamorasan is going to be the blacksmith. And really, after the blue number two, obviously blue, you know, you guys always hear blue is my favorite steel. Um, you really get all the styling and everything coming from Moi Jin, who he really went to work, right? I mean, we've got obviously the classic sharpening. We've got the forced patina edge. But the, the, the hazy finish, this metal flow finish, and I'm going to read the side of the box. They don't even call it metal flow. They call it microstructural banding. But if you're on the website, you'll always see the words metal flow. And um, let's give well, you a little rah. shot. I'm sorry, you guys. Know, that happens in real time. Everybody knows. You know, come on. I don't make any apologies for life happening. I do want to give get a, a close-up on this very ultra-luxurious handle. This um, Karen, K-A-R-I-N Wood with the double black horn and two silver nickel spacers. Um, I'm gonna pick it up and I wanna feel the weight of this to see. It looks heavy, but. Well, it's pretty balanced, I would actually say. I, 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 I thought what you said, it's, it would be a little bit more on space. I will say I'm a little bit more upset of the spacing. If my wife wants to take her finger and feel, it is not fluid. Oh. You know, yeah, just that one. The other one's fine. Yeah, the uh, the um, so the fit and finish here on the sanding, that spacer is just off right there. So it is something you would notice on the inside of your hand. The knife is completely unused. I do want to let you guys know for some people out there commenting on this particular knife, what I have heard is that the metal flow kind of goes away now i don't know if that is the oxidation that kind of hides it and then you bring it back out with furic acid or lemon juice or if it's something that is so lightly ingrained in the steel that as you cut um, you start to actually wear it away i'd be interesting for you guys to comment in the comments and let me know your experience with bringing that back as normal we're going to do a um a test i mean there's what I would expect to come from a great sharpener. You know, obviously, um, other than the shipping, like what has happened in the box, um, that this, this knife is completely unused. So let's go ahead and take a quick look on the best and see what we could expect out of the box. Um, Sub 200, you guys saw it was literally balancing on the wire. Yeah. Um, we'll go ahead and take another quick test as we normally do. We like to test more than one space. So definitely for those of you who've used the metal flow, I mean, I'd love to hear in the comments. Um, let me make sure I've got that out. You know, blue number two is just going to be easy to sharpen. Um, I know that it's a beautiful knife, but we do want the knives to actually perform. Let's go a little towards the front. Whoa. So, I mean. Okay. That's pretty consistent. Yeah. yeah. So, mid 150 average. Great knife. So, not just pretty. It can do the work. Um, I do want to point out, for those of you who don't know, the Hamaguri um, grind. Now, we always heard about that, like from Ashi Hamono, and it's that clamshell. So you're really going to get that thick and then coming in clamshell kind of a grind towards the edge. 
It is got a. Um, look at the how it the taper or anything. Right, but that's what I was pointing at. If you guys, if you're getting a shot of my fingers, so the clam meaning that it's fatter, and then it the grind is going to round right there at the the blade. So it's got that concave right at the end, that hamaguri line we saw with the ashi homono. We've seen that with. Um, you want to pick it up and check? I don't know if we would be able to get it. Um, I don't know what angle you would want to even try to do that. We'll definitely um, turn it. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and go like this to see if. I don't know if you need something underneath. Yeah, no, it just looks crazy thin. Like crazy. But those who, who are a big fan of the Ashi Himono product, I mean. Um, Oops, sorry, Mike. But it is a soft iron cladding on the outside. Just so you know, it is not stainless. So that means the entire thing is going to be reactive. Um, that was very quiet. Mm -hmm. I mean, I went right in at the heel, the bite. Just showing you that really the whole thing. It's like, I'm not just a pretty face. Yeah, I was like, it shouldn't have a problem with that, I wouldn't think. No. Yeah. What's really interesting for me, uh, we just shot a video earlier using Indonesian whetstones. And we just saw that the rating on this was mid-150. And I sharpened a Fujiwara on in Indonesian stones. And it went through the paper towel like it was nothing. So even though we didn't do a best, I mean, we must have really got that knife really sharp. So super excited to see that happen. Um, I am not going to cut food with this. The reason why is we have been selling some of the knives to fund the show. We have a large collection. We don't need all of them. Um, glad to show the performance on this and everything, but I don't want to create more oxidation in case somebody wants to reach out to me and see if they want to add this to, to their collection. Uh, I will say that, like I said, the balance is great, 210. The spacing is great, other than a little bit off on the spacer. Uh, we got this from Strata Portland. It's still on their site. I'll put a link to the original purchase on there. Absolutely beautiful. Again, I hope my wife got a really good opportunity to show you the metal flow banding on there. And uh, I only expect good things from this collaboration. I look forward to seeing more of them. I think I have another knife that we have not opened from them. And I love the Force Patina, honestly. We know we're going to get a patina, so it's nice when they go and do the work for you. And, and the coloration is just even all the way down. Um, this obviously was just a quick video to bring this knife to you. I definitely don't think that was a dull moment. And I appreciate you guys continuing support. We've been making note that we're going to probably for a minute, especially towards the end of the year, not be as consistent, uh, possibly switching to like say every other Friday. The holiday season's coming up. We have some obligations with family and church and uh, we just look forward to continue bringing the show. Thank you as always, Friday nights at eight, we try to do that. We do have some lost episodes of the Blay Show. We're gonna, we've just unraveled and we're gonna post those as well. So please enjoy those. Okay, and as we go into the holiday season, we wish you guys the best of holidays, and uh, we look forward to seeing you hopefully next week.